So, um, in this video, you don't actually have to download FaceFX. I'm going to give you the facial animations that I created with FaceFX so you can use them in my video. Um, but if you are interested in purchasing a copy, I'm working with them on this video and there's a link in the description that will save you some money if you want facial animation in your game. So, let's begin. In the description, I'm going to give you um, a project. In it, I've included some animations that I've created with FaceFX. And also some the original audio that I gave FaceFX as well. So, we can now use this to make a quest where the NPC has uh, lip syncing. And I'm going to do it in blueprints today, particularly because the focus is on the FaceFX tool. I don't really intend to teach you guys C++ in this video. So that is why we're doing it in blueprints. And let's just speed run it, because that'll be fun. Um, Alright, so, we're going to make an NPC that you have to talk to, so we'll make an, an actor. We'll say BP underscore NPC. And to the NPC, we're going to add a skeletal mesh component. If you click the drop down, there's an asset called Slate. This is the guy that's going to be talking to us. Um, so, yeah. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add a sphere collision to Slade. And we'll make it a little bit bigger. And if we scroll down, we can go to... Um, actually, let's not worry about that just yet. The next thing we need to do is animate his face. Um, this is basically done through these animations, but we're also going to make something called an animation blueprint. We need to select anim instance and Slade. And then we'll call this anim BP underscore slate this is just a little minor thing we have to do if you just type slot that's literally it if you don't do that uh, montages don't play properly so we need to add that in there and then if you click on the slate skeletal mesh you can select uh, the anim BP we just made okay so we're gonna go to first person BP blueprints first person character and we will add two variables B has cube and B has started quest. Now, the quest that we're going to make today is incredibly stupid and very simple, and it has no point. The point is the facial animation. The quest is, uh, the guy says you need to go and get me a cube, and you find the cube, and then you bring the cube back to him. It's very dumb, but the purpose of it is, is not the quest, it's the, the lip syncing part. So that's why we have these two variables here. We're going to go to the um, NPC here, and in the actor begin overlap event, we want to cast to our character. And we're going to check if the character has started the quest yet. If the character hasn't started the quest, then we want to um, set has started quest to true and then we're going to actually play the lip sync animation now and the way that we're going to do that is we'll take the skeletal mesh uh, play a montage on it and we're going to do sound one that's the one that we're interested in playing and we also need to play the actual audio part as well so we're going to do um, play sound at location we're going to select sound one and we'll play it at the location of the actor cool so now um, we'll drop our Slade character into the level and when I run up to him he should give me a quest so let's try it and we'll search for NPC and drop him into the level he probably should have a body but I don't have a body for him so we're just gonna we're just gonna make him a head Okay, so I just made a really minor mistake. Uh, has started quest should actually be false. And uh, also, it's probably a good idea to actually make the sphere like 200 in size. And so now we should be able to hit play. And when we walk up to Slade. Hello, adventurer. I seem to have lost my cube. Will you find it for me? Cannot go on without it. So he's using a face effects animation and the audio, 
to say that and have the lip sync work. Um, so that's the first part of it. Now we need to find the cube for him, bring it back to him, and he'll keep speaking lip synced uh, dialogue to us as well. To do this, we'll just duplicate NPC. We'll just make a BP cube. Yeah, you'll have to uh, forgive me. I'm kind of just doing this on the fly, but uh, so we're gonna make a cube. Set the scale. Oh no. Okay. So we have our cube. This time though, when we overlap the cube, what we need to do is if the player, um, well actually, yeah, basically, uh, when we overlap the cube, we're gonna cast to first person character. We're gonna set has cube to true, because the player now has the cube. And then we're going to destroy the cube. This means that you can either take the cube before or after talking to him. It doesn't actually matter which order you do this step in. So now we will take the cube and put it into the level. And we'll just make one last modification to our NPC and then we have officially made a quest with uh, lip synced dialogue in it. So what we do is we say, uh, has cube. And we'll just copy this part here. Again, this code is not very good. Uh, the focus is the, the face of X tool and not the actual code. So we'll just do sound two on this guy. And then down here we'll have sound three. So if we have the cube, you've succeeded the quest, otherwise play sound two. So little bit messy this code but it does the job so that should now work let's try it out so we're gonna walk up to the NPC hello adventurer I seem to have lost my cube will you find it for me I cannot go on without it and then we're gonna take the cube so now we took the cube come back without this cube I was surely going to be <laughs> thank you adventurer and so if you don't have the cube, he will ask you uh, where is the cube or something like that. So if I talk to him. Hello, adventurer. I seem to have lost my cube. Will you find it for me? I cannot go on without it. Please come back when you found it. Yeah. So um, that's pretty much it. If you decide to get face effects, making uh, an animation is as easy as just selecting your character and then adding an animation. You need to give it an audio file for it to play and then you hit next and face effects will literally make a facial animation look i hit play hello adventurer i seem to have lost my cube check that shit out like it just did that in seconds so you can see why big companies are using this um it saves you so much time who wants to animate every single facial animation no one so um, I'd highly recommend giving this tool a try. Before I go, you might be interested in my course. It's the Unreal Engine C++ Survival Game course. I basically show you how to make a survival game with C++ and deploy it to Steam matchmaking and all that sort of stuff. Um, but other than that, please leave a comment with video ideas because I literally don't know what to do, but I do want to make more videos because I enjoy doing it. It's good for me and you guys seem to like them. Um, and then last thing is just like, thank you so much to all the subscribers. You're so nice to me. I'm an awful content creator that makes videos like once every two months, but you guys are still super nice. And I just want to say it really does mean a lot. And please subscribe and join me on this journey. And I'll uh, try to put more content out and hopefully elevate your C++ skills and get you making better games and learning new stuff. So that's it. I'll see you guys later.